and that's enough that we still can trash you. Yeah. Put me behind your cross. Let there be more of you and less of me. Now let your words go forth and not come back void. Yeah. That some heart be open today, some ear have the ability to comprehend yeah, your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus name. Amen. amen. Thank you. Ecclesiastes chapter 4. Um, beginning at verse 8. Press it. Press Deacon it. Swain. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verses 8 through 12. A read. There is one alone, and there is not a second. Yea, he hath neither child nor brother. Yet is there no end of all his labor. Neither is his eye satisfied with riches. Neither, said he, for whom do I labor and bereave my soul of good? Yes, yes. This is also vanity. Mm -hmm. Yea, it is a sore to bear. Yes. Two are better than one. All right. Because uh, they have a good reward for their labor. Mm -hmm. For if they fall, mm -hmm. the one will lift up his fellow. Yes, yes. But woe to him that is alone when he falls. Woe yes. for he has not enough to help him up. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Again, if two lie together, then they have peace. But how can one be warm enough? Mm -hmm. And if one prevail against him, All right. who shall withstand him? Mm -hmm. And a threefold cause is not quickly broken. Amen. Uh, Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. Uh, the stretcher, the stretcher. principle. principle. Right. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you, Eric. The stretcher principle. Stretcher. Stretcher. You know, you know, I had the experience to be on a stretcher yeah. this past week. First time I was on a stretcher as they took me to the hospital. You was a dead man. Huh? <laughs> I was on a stretcher. You didn't know it. He healed me from a distance. What? Yeah. God carries All right. us All right. in times like that. He 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 prays for us and he has other believers praying for us right. also. Right. So whenever we cannot do for ourselves when we are weak and unable to speak God has Somebody. someone oh, yes. you heard that? God has someone there to pick you up oh, yes. no sometimes when you get so weak and you can't carry yourself. Well, you gotta call the Lord. The Lord. Yeah. Lord will send somebody. Yes, Lord. Guide me. Oh, thy great Jehovah. In our key. Scripture number 12 says, and if one prevails against him, I like this thing, see, two shall withstand him, and a three chord, a three chord, you know what a three chord is? A rope. And, and the three chord, and you have to, you know, I learned I had two girls 
when I was a teenager. Hello, somebody. And I had to learn those three chords. I had to learn how to clap the air. Yeah. Yeah. It's three chords. You got to have those fingers. You have to have that touch right? to, 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 to twist those three chords to the very end where uh, at the very end, it's little bitty ones and it's still a chord. Work in, work in. You can connect that little chord work in. to another chord yeah. and it's going to hold. <laughs> it's going to hold whatever else work is in place. Work in. And, 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 and Solomon is trying to let us understand that sometimes that, that we can't do it all on our own. Work. He said, 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 he said, where, where, where there's two or three gathered in my name, he said, I am in the midst. So that, that, that third chord, the, that three chord, the, the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that, that, that chord that holds us together yeah. when, 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 when we're in trouble and when we go through times of, like this. That, that that three chord I, I call my I call my Aunt Barbara uh, 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 my pillow and, and and you know not the kind of pillow that y'all sleep on every night but in the olden days when they built these magnificent buildings they built them and there was pillows that went from the ground all the way up uh, and they, the, the the pillows was what held the building. Up. And even though they had a brick wall around the compound, you had to get through these pillows to get to the, uh, the king. Oh, yeah. And, and the pillows are hard. And my aunt Barbara, she's been down here a couple of weeks since my brother got sick and she had just buried a dog. Oh, oh somebody can work it, work it. Uh, Understand what I'm saying? She had just buried a grandson. I know somebody. So, and, and, and not long ago, a few years ago, she buried her son. And, and, and here she is. Here she is. Here in Tunis, Texas, uh, glued to my wife uh, and sitting there next to my brother-in-law day after day after day. I'm talking about a cord. Talking about a cord that here at Old Bethlehem if it had not been for 157 years, this cause that we have as a church would not be together. It would be, be, be broken, you know. Mm -hmm. It don't take but a few words on Facebook to, to upset and overthrow some things and, 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 and drive people crazy. Yeah. But if you're, if you're not part of that, 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 that card, that card, then you're going to be broken down. Yeah. A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but, but, but two can stand back to back. Uh, stand up real. Two can stand back to back, so no matter which way they coming at us, we got each other's back. Right. <laughs> Amen? Yeah, and, right. and, 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 and then it goes on to say, then three of us are better than two. So we got a third person. <laughs> Come on, Lord, just stand. You might have to move, Pop. No, nah, no. Nah. Stand up, back up. Back. Yeah, just turn your back to me. There we go. Now, here we go. It's three. It's a three card. They can't get us from the front, from the side, or the back. Hello, somebody. So I'm talking about uh, that stretch of principle. Uh, we're going to get there in a minute. The, 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 there's times when, 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 when there'll be and probably have been seasons in your life where you have needed to be cared. Hey, you remember that old song? Uh, he said, I ain't too proud to beg. You know, that was somebody. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was too proud. I didn't want to go on no stretcher. I thought I was, you know, I'm man enough. I, I need to walk out of here. But you see, we all need a group of uh, believers uh, yeah. that are there 
to, 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 to carry us through. Hello, somebody. Yeah, somebody. <laughs> don't, don't ever tell me that I'm all alone because God is always uh, present. Yeah. We need friends who will have faith on our behalf. Right. Amen. So everybody, just anybody can't pray for me. Yeah. I'm sorry. And you, know, and you gotta watch yourself because yeah. see, uh, everybody shouldn't be able to pray for you because if they don't pray for themselves. So yeah. how can they pray for me? Yeah. I've never heard a word yeah. out of their mouth, but I've seen them. And then the conversation says, never been, no matter what they're going through, uh, they, they, they ask, uh, can I pray for you? No, no, no. You got to be careful when you come to that. But, but when we don't have, we don't have faith in ourselves, we'll fall for anything. You know what I'm saying? What, what, what do you used to say? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? For something you go, you can fall for anything, but when you know you got that stretcher in your heart, I'm talking about the word of God. When you got the word of God in your heart, ain't nobody just can come up to you and fool you. No, no, no. They said that they, they said that, that at the name of Jesus, what? Every knee. The Muslims, the Muslims, the Buddhists. All of them, even those those, those atheists, you know, uh, there was a story that uh, atheist was 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 in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the woods, walking through the woods, and all of a sudden he came up to this big bear, and this bear was getting ready to uh, swallow him up, yeah. and then time just stopped, and he said, "Lord, the atheist, say, Lord, please." Don't let this bear eat me. And he said, Thank you for it. And then time came back, and, and the bear dropped down on his knees, and he said, Lord, thank you for this food that you sent to me. Amen. So you, you got to be careful to that part. That, that, that three stand strand in your life you know, is it's like this. Where sometimes you're carried and other times you're being carried. Yeah. Hello, somebody. And other times you're being carried and other times you are the rescuer. Right. And then there's times in your life uh, when you are the one being rescued. Right. Hello, somebody. I'm talking about that stretcher principle. And when we look at our text, it says two people are better off. Then one, this is the NILT version, yeah. for they can help each other succeed. See, if one person falls, what the other one do? He can reach down and pick him up. Yeah. But, 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 but watch this. Someone who falls by himself yeah. is in trouble. Y'all know that little commercial. I've fallen and I can't get up. Hello, somebody. That was a commercial it wasn't true, she had somebody, but I'm just telling you, the deceiver will think you don't have nobody to pick you up, amen? Uh -huh. But likewise, two people that's lying close together can keep each other warm. Yeah. But, but how can one be warm all by himself? Hello, somebody. A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated but two can stand back to back and conquer. Three are even better than a triple bready cord. Hello, somebody. I'm about to leave you now. What Paul said in Ephesians 4, 16, he said, he makes the whole body to fit together perfectly. Hello, somebody. And that each part is his own special work. It helps the other parts grow. Hello, somebody. I had somebody in my life uh, that said, Robert, have you ever opened up your Bible? Robert, I gave you a Bible last year. Have you ever opened it up? Have you read about Paul and Silas? Have you read about uh, 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 Abraham and, and, and Isaac and Jacob? Uh, that have you read about uh, uh, Adam and Eve? Have you even opened it up to that word? You gotta have somebody else, somebody else that's gonna come in your 
own life. Yeah. He said, as each person does his own work, uh, it helps the other parts to grow. Right. Now, Paul was talking about the church. It's, it's time for them to start building up. Uh, you know, uh, the church was full, but nobody was working. They was just coming. You know, it started becoming entertainment. But Paul was saying, search the word for yourself. Look at it. There's somewhere that you can be used in the church. Hello, somebody. Paul said to this man, he said, he said, it's time. He said, so the whole body is, is healthy and growing and full of love. You know, when we talk about tunes, we talk about old Bethlehem. And then 157 years old. Hello, somebody. And I'm not, I'm harping on this because young people, you got to know that 157 years ago, we were not free yet. Hello, somebody. And somebody, but somebody sacrificed their lives to be here for us today. Yeah. Hello, somebody. I'm talking about the stretching. I'm almost there. I got to go. I got to go. Uh, if you look at Mark chapter 2, verse 1 through 11, you remember that, 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 that when Jesus had just come back from Capernaum, and then and several days later, the news spread that, uh, that Jesus was back at home. And then and he heard about the miracles and the healing that Jesus had done. And soon as the house, soon as he got there, he was staying and the house became packed. The visitors came from everywhere. There was no more room in the house. Hello, somebody. Even outside the door, it was people for miles and miles back. And here comes uh, this little old boy called Robert. Uh, and they had me, my two friends, had me on a stretch. Why, Pastor? Because I could not move. And my friends loved me enough uh, to carry me around on this stretch. So, so then, these four men, uh, two on each side, arrived. They had the paralyzed man on the mat. And they saw they could not make it to the door. They could not make it through the crowd. But they did not give up. So they dug a hole. Hello, somebody. Through the roof. I'm talking about that stretcher principle. Then they lowered the man down on his mat. Right down in front of Jesus. Hello, somebody. I'm talking about that stretcher principle. There, laying Jesus looked at the paralyzed man. And he said to him, he said, man, he said, my child, he said, your sins are forgiven. That stretcher principle. Hello, somebody. But some of the teachers of the religious world, somebody always go doubt. They didn't believe. They didn't believe. They was mad because Jesus healed this paralyzed man. So here, they sitting there thinking of bad things in their hearts. But watch this. Jesus, he turned to them and he said, what is he saying? This is blasphemy. Only God can forgive sins. These haters was talking about Jesus was being a blasphemy. And then Jesus, what did he do? Immediately what they were thinking about in their heart. He already knew that they was thinking about bad things. But hold on one second. Who do you question this morning? Who do you question this in your heart? It's easier to say to the paralyzed man, your sins are forgiven. It's easy to say that. But Jesus don't look at one thing. Jesus covers everything around him. He can be all the way up in Egypt this morning. He can be right here at Old Bethlehem this morning. 
Carolina. He can be in Alabama, in Louisiana, and heal, heal somebody all at the same time. I'm talking about that stretcher mentality. So, here we go. He said, stand up. Stand up. Don't just stand up. Pick up after yourself. He said, pick up that mat you've been carrying around on. He said, and, 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 and go. And your sins are forgiven. So I'll prove that to you. That the Son of Man has the authority to give us forgive sins. Remember, then Jesus turned to the paralyzed man and he says, My son, stand up. He said, Pick up this mat and go home to your family. Come on, somebody. I'm talking about the stretcher principle. So, what does that stretcher mean, Pastor? What does it look like in your life? I don't know what's going on. You might be having marriage problems. You may be having a physical condition. You may be limited to, to what you can do. You may be dilapidated. You may be anger. Stretch a principle that you can't see to control putting yourself in situations come on somebody and you're not able to control them and hurting those around you stretch your principles something's fear in you you got fear in your heart that you cannot be free from but lord right now in the name of jesus there's somebody that needs you remove lord the fear remove lord the anger you may be betrayed deceived and hurt to the point that your stretcher is the inability to fully trust someone your stretcher principality your your stretcher principle watch out satan you don't like for you to be happy you might be in financial trouble you might be thinking yourself a failure but the relationships we was talking about we invest in now will carry us through later jesus said i'll be with you even until the end of the earth i'm talking about the stretcher principle oh friends faith releases the miracle of our lives mark 2 5 said when jesus saw that the man came unto him with palsy he said son be faithful thy sins be forgiven and it was all over true friends will never leave you they'll be closer and closer than you ever know the bible says share one another's burdens hello somebody and why pastor because in this way obey the law of christ if you think you're too important to somebody to yourself if you think only about yourself if you think you're fooling the law i don't have time for nobody else i barely have time for me but he said god said that we were designed for relationships not by ourselves but with one another seasons come and seasons go but ultimately he uses people to carry us through hello somebody allow jesus to carry you 
them in the judgment hall. They beat them for no reason at all. Ever been blamed for something you did not do. And you say, Lord, I didn't do it, y'all. But the perpetrators have in their heart convinced that you are a liar. And so many men has died. Innocent men has died because somebody said they did something they did not do. But God said it's time for you to get on up, carry yourself, stretch out, use that stretcher principle. Jesus looked down at his accusers. They had beat him to a pope. But yet and still, in his heart, he still had love. I gotta leave you now. But he said, Father, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Somebody's lying on you. Somebody's saying things about you. Somebody is trying to steal your joy. Somebody is trying to weaken your faith. Hello, somebody. I gotta leave you now. But when it all came down to it, they put Jesus in a barber's tomb. They thought they had him then. They was resting. They was content to know that this liar, this blasphemer, this healer, this compassion was not true. But hello, somebody. Ah, old King wanted to make sure that he was dead. So he put two guards to watch uh, that too. He put two guards to watch uh, where Jesus had been laid. But I'm talking about uh, that stretcher principle. They rolled back the rock. Uh, they thought they did, but they didn't even know. And when they rolled back the rock, all you could see was an empty stretcher. Hello, somebody. He wasn't there. He had already left. He had already gone home. And to the name of his father, he sat by him. And then he said, I still love you. I still care for you. But that's not the end of the story. He said, I gotta go back and redeem man. Robert is still lying. Robert is still stealing. Robert have not got it yet. He's so close to death. God said, you gotta watch yourself. You gotta be ready when I come back. So you gotta say something like this, uh, Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned against you. And what I like about it, that tomb that he stayed in three days, two nights, uh, but when he got up, uh, 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 he got up uh, 